Okay, right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the weird bits of Pinner Driving okay. Test Center, okay? So when you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Very nice. Is it okay if I ask you questions just about what yeah, you're doing? Course, so definitely. if anybody yeah. is watching, at definitely. least they get an idea of. Yeah, no, it's going to help me as well. So let's do that. Lovely. Okay, so just for reference, uh, we are driving past the test centre, which is the next road on the right. We're not going in there. We're just going to drive past. So just continue to follow the road ahead. Well done, yes. So if a road has speed bumps, what would you say the speed limit is most likely to be? Uh, about 15 on the speed bump. All right, that sounds like a good speed to go over a bump. Yeah. The and, the, and the road the road would be 20. Very good, yes. Yeah. So it's most likely to be a 20. It's a good way of identifying a 20 road. And you wouldn't want to go over a speed bump much faster than 15, like you said anyway, so. Uh, even if it was a higher speed, you probably wouldn't really be doing it. Nice with your mirror checks for change of direction as you went round the parked car. Why are you checking the side mirrors when you're changing direction? To see if there's any car behind me because I might affect their, um, I might affect them if Lovely. Um, I'm changing direction. Good. And as we change speed, like we're stopping, what mirror would you check for stopping? Mirror, would I check my yeah, center mirror? Very and the good, side mirror. Yeah. yeah. And on the test sheet or test report, that's called changing speed. Okay, fine. So they're the, they're the mirror checks for driving, changing speed, changing direction. Is there, is there another one? So it's change of there speed, is. change of direction, and signaling. signaling, changing lanes. Oops, oops, oops. Anyone behind you for your change of speed? Very good, because you notice we rolled a little bit there as well. Yeah. So it's important to know who's behind us. We've got stop suddenly. Yeah. And if we roll back, we definitely want to know if they're behind us. Good. Well done, yeah. So you see how slow it was going and yeah. it stopped. Yeah, you have to really look, from, really look far ahead, don't you? Yes, yeah. as far as possible. At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right. So this is the first junction that most people will do at Pinner Driving Test Centre okay. and it can be very intimidating because the road is busy. So it's important to take your time, make sure that you only drive out when the whole road is clear of traffic. Okay. Just like if we would walk out in the road, we'd want it to be clear of traffic. Sure. Yeah? So that's the best way of knowing when it's a good opportunity to drive out. Ask yourself, would you walk out? Gone just then, Would you have caused any vehicles on the main road I to could, slow, stop, yeah, or swerve? I think I would have. Then you want to wait. Very good opportunity there. Well done. Any questions about judging when it's a safe time to drive out? Uh, no, but good. It's, yeah, would it be safe to? Out, Excellent, yeah, that really helped me when somebody explained that to me, my problem was solved yeah. instantly. Works for all junctions, all situations. We're going to start by following signs now. So this is an independent driving using the traffic signs. Okay. We'd like to follow the sign to Pinner, okay. Harrow, please. Okay. There's little lines, those are not exits, are they? Normally, they on a dual carriageway, mm -hmm. 
you would be correct. However, we're not on a dual carriageway, so we are counting those as exits. Okay, so one, two, so I'm taking the fourth exit. Correct, to the right. okay. yeah. Fine. So like you mentioned, those little stubby ones yeah. is different on a dual carriageway roundabout. You're correct in what you were telling me, but we're not on a dual carriageway, so that's different. It's, okay, so on it's a, a bit dual confusing. carriageway, they're dead ends, but on, yeah. the normal, on a normal roundabout, they are not dead ends. Correct. Okay. Good position here, well done for your right turn. Lovely, well done counting. Two. Good, this is annoying because it's so close to give us a signal now. Okay. Good. Uh, the exit has this separate crossing so that's important for people to know about as well okay. excellent roundabout well done but, but we just turned the car around right? no you didn't oh, okay. you did that 100 percent perfect okay fine okay perfect. very good uh mention about the timing on the signal as you approach the roundabout okay. uh i.e how many car lengths would we start to signal from a junction six to eight well done okay. excellent so you highlighted that your positioning was perfect. You held the right lane as you approached the roundabout. Very good. You continue to use the right lane on the roundabout until you reach the third exit. That's where I was really encouraging to get a bit of an earlier signal than normal okay. because third exit and fourth exit are almost touching. They're so close. Okay. So we signal early to tell people we're actually gonna come across the roundabout, start okay. to come out to the left and then exit the roundabout. It was really good, well done. Normally on, on like the other roundabouts that I've been practicing on, what I'm doing is I'm uh, passing the penultimate exit and then I'm checking my mirrors and then I'm signaling. But this time we did it like kind of the same time we were passing it, I guess. Correct. Okay. Um, and you know when you said like on a normal sort of roundabout where the exits are spread out a bit more. Yeah. So this one's so close together so that's the only reason why we would signal earlier because we're just trying to give people a little bit more time to see our signal so they know we're coming off. Still follow the signs of Pinaharo, please. We do, yeah, well done. So straight and then is it left? Correct. And then um, right, 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 right. That's it, yeah, just straight and left like you just mentioned. Okay, yeah. fine. Two roundabouts, one straight, one left. Excellent using your blocker car there to so the opposite side there was a vehicle blocking the traffic on your right from going. Excellent observations here on this second roundabout. A lot of people forget to observe at the second roundabout because the two roundabouts are so close together, people tend to not see the second one, forget the observations and fail. And that is the number one reason why people fail their driving tests for like five years in a row now observations at junctions we're going to continue to go straight now so it's signs to harrow okay. um stanmore hatch end straight ahead okay. now if you are following these signs sometimes they will say the examiners will say hatch end okay uh, most of the time they'll say stanmore okay fine. so i'm going to ask you to continue to follow the signs to stanmore please okay. Have you, you must have covered the show me, tell me questions because you have done previous driving yeah. tests. So I'm just gonna ask you a couple of tell me questions, okay. okay? So you will get one on your test as you're aware. So we'll, we'll do one now. Okay. What is the road legal tire requirements, please? Um, 1.6 millimeters tread depth and no cuts, cuts or bulges on, Excellent. The, on the tires. Excellent, perfect answer, well done.
checks every so often, even though you're going in a straight line, you're frequently checking all the mirrors, that creates more awareness, which will make you a more confident and safer driver, yeah? So those pizza delivery boys we're looking out for by eight o'clock in the morning, I doubt they're about, but you know, could be anybody on the way to work, I guess. Okay, the next sign is hidden by the trees, unless they've, oh, they have kind of cut the trees, or maybe the leaves have fallen because it's winter. The sign I'm still saying is too difficult to see. So if that's the case, examiner should, in capital letters, give you direction. Straight ahead at this roundabout towards Stanmore, please. It's the second exit. Normally that would be correct, but let's just say straight ahead, okay. and then you'll see what number exit is when you reach the roundabout. Watch the pickup truck. So that's the dual, dual carriage. That's point. correct. We're going to come back to that uh, after we complete these roundabouts. Uh, there is a U turn that you may be asked to do on your driving test, okay. which involves that dual carriageway. Okay. okay? We'll have a look at that in detail later. Have you done that before? Yeah, I, I did that. I practiced that the other day. Good. Yeah. How did you find it? Um, yeah, it was okay. The only thing I was confused about was with, when I'm when I'm positioning in the island, do I position on my right side or on the left side? And when I was told that you, you need to be positioning on your right side, so it's just I should be positioned on the island closest side to me. So um, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to clarify that later. Okay. Just because there's a lot happening at the moment, I'm not going to ask too many okay. detailed questions. From what you've told me, it does sound like you've been given misinformation. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so we'll cover that later and then I can clarify whether it's me not understanding. It might, maybe I haven't explained it properly. I no, like it you have, from, from what you've said to me, it's very clear the way you've explained it. I just want to clarify okay. with a visual aid when we okay, get there. Yeah, sure. Just so that we know we're definitely yeah, sure. okay. in an agreement and there's no okay. confusions. Yeah. Alright, continue to follow the signs to stand more. approach the roundabout a little bit slower. Okay, fine. That will give you more time to observe, to yeah. see the pickup okay, truck, fine. okay? Okay, fine. What kind of speed would you suggest I should be doing when I'm approaching? 10 miles an hour. When approaching the yeah, roundabout? Yeah, so we're doing okay. 20 now. Okay, fine. It's about five car lengths. Okay. Start to slow down to okay, 10. Fine. So you're at 10, good. Okay, yeah, that's much better yeah. actually. Yeah, and we're just going straight ahead, second yeah. exit. I think like I get a bit, like nervous is in the sense like oh i need to be going a bit faster or all suddenly i'm going too slowly now or something like that remember to signal left for your exit left oh you can i mean now is a good time to signal right because yeah. you've got to merge out but when you exit the roundabout okay fine. yeah and you know you said about your nerves and keep going and all yeah. this stuff at the roundabout it could be so many other things you'd feel nervous about mm -hmm. by slowing down to 10 miles an hour they'll fade away, their nerves will fade yeah. away, everything okay. will work. Okay, fine. Turning left on the roundabout, please, okay. first exit. Okay. Notice how you looked very late. Yeah, that was another reason why I suggested slowing down, which you did. 
you were about 10 miles an hour there as you approached the roundabout. But then it was almost like you saw the giveaway lines and went, oh, I'm here, and okay. then looked. Okay, fine. Ideally, so, we want to. Okay, fine. Because that means I could have just kind of gone more quickly than if I, if I had chatted. Exactly. taking you this way which is the continuation of the Stanmore route okay. at this point your examiner will most likely say that is the end of your independent driving okay. I will give you directions as normal from now on okay. okay the speed on this road is 30 keep looking for signs if you've got a nice high-tech car like this one it'll be there to help you oh it's 40 notice the sign oh, on the yeah. lamppost okay. You would fail your driving test for driving 20 miles an hour okay. under the speed limit. Was there a sign at the beginning of this road? Correct. I must have missed it. Yes, I would miss those as well because we're focusing on the road and the junction so much. So just when you get on the road, if you think you might have missed it, what do you want to do or look for? Um, just see if there's another 40 sign or... Excellent. Um, I guess look at the... Um, sat nav? Sat -nav. Yeah, you might have a little speed on the sat nav. Can you, can you rely on the sat nav though to have the correct, um, to have the correct, um, speed? Speed, sorry, yes. Uh, would you rely on any technology 100%? No. So I hope that answers okay. the question, yeah. The examiners used to make a point of that at the beginning of the exams, when the sat navs first started to come in. Yeah. I don't really hear them mentioning it so much anymore, but yeah, they would say something along the lines that, although the sat nav tells you the speed, don't rely on it, keep looking for signs so you know you're 100% on a faulty road or whatever it is, yeah? Okay, so remember we talked about the bridge, yeah? Yes, perfect. We're gonna go have a look at that because that's something you mentioned, and it's on this route, so that's good. to try and get up to speed limits if it's safe to do so okay, okay. at the traffic lights turn left okay. I can see why she was driving slowly because it, it's not such a straight road either yes curves bends yeah. um, less space less speed and yeah. less see less speed so yeah, if you're getting into a bend and you don't know what's around the corner, start to slow down by all means. I guess when it goes straight, just, just increase your speed. Exactly, well done. Yes, and it's a downhill as well. So that downhill, what's that going to do to the speed of the vehicle? Good. So when you're going round the bend in general, I say B B B, brake before bends. Yeah. What pedal will you most likely need for a bend? The brake pedal. Exactly. Yeah. So if we're covering it before the bend, it's a very good habit to have. Yeah, my foot is basically pretty much just on that. There you go. Yeah. vehicles in the middle of the road it's yeah. so our turn now okay. move out please into the center dominate oh, okay. there you go okay you need this to be moving to the middle 
very good. You know what we mentioned about your position in the road? It's like a signal to others. Yes. So that's going to show the other vehicle the oncoming traffic. Nobody can else Yes. Okay, Turn fine. left here, please. Thank you. Good BBB, good brake before your bends. Look at that control, yeah? yeah. And that way, if we have an, an oncoming yeah. vehicle on this road, such a nice safe speed, you can slowly stop. So yeah? We're just going ahead here. Yeah, we're gonna go into the car park here. So turning right into the swimming pool car park, please. Nice imagining the lines on the road so that you're not turning into the oncoming traffic. And it's a shame to see another business has gone broke turning right thank you we have our bays here I'd like you to reverse into any bay okay. oh, I don't know my reference points in this car but let's see how it goes so position in the middle of the road Hard on the brake, really hard on the brake. Keep the brake on hard and push the lever really hard. Good. Just going to draw your attention to the camera. I'm not saying to use it, but it's there if you want it and you are allowed to on tests. Okay. If you turn the wheel now, you'll see the yellow lines turn. So keep the car stationary by holding the brake, but turn the steering. Put the big thick yellow lines, which are your wheels, okay. in between one of the white lines. So do that now. Stop. Stop. Do it now. So what, what do you mean? Sorry. So if you turn the wheel anyway, yeah, good. Keep turning it until the thick yellow lines, the big fat yellow lines, go in between the white lines. Oh, that's so, so give helpful. it a bit more of a turn. Let's go for that bay. A little bit more. See this one's starting to come over to where yeah. that white line is? A bit yeah. more. And you see this other line's on top of the white line. We don't want that, we want it inside. So you still need more steering. Stop. Can you see it's coming in here? Yeah. And coming in here where the yeah. white lines start. So it's going into the middle. Yeah. Okay. Read this sentence at the top of the camera for me. Check in time surroundings. Good, so we'll do that now. Make sure it's clear. Okay. And then we can begin. We are allowed to turn the wheel while, the, while holding the brake on. That's okay. allowed on test, just okay. so that you know that, okay? okay. <clears throat> Just make a slight adjustment on your wheels. Okay, Very good using your mirrors outside the vehicle to see the lines. Having a look out the front window can give you another perspective on how straight your vehicle is. Stop when the red line reaches the edge of the bay. Perfect. Okay, okay. Just secure your car, excuse me, by putting it into park. There you go. Okay. Very good. Okay, great. You can see it's highlighted P, so you know you're in park. Okay, perfect. Very good maneuver. Well okay. done. Observations okay. are super important. Okay. When you're ready, I'd like you to exit the car park, please. Turning left. I haven't come to this um, before. This, but it's nice and empty. Yes. Most likely they'll probably bring you here on the yes coast. even more so now that this business has gone out of okay. because business I've, I've gone to the tesco superstore to pack this before yeah you're um, not likely to go in there on test oh, really? and turn okay. left again so likely to come here very likely yeah. would it depend on the test route though or? yes okay mm -hmm. nice. at the end of the road turn right okay we're going to go back over the bridge okay this time I'll be quiet, let you do your own assessment. Okay. Okay. Remember what I said about this, how to assess the speed of the vehicle, the oncoming vehicle. Okay. 
Okay. What did I mention about the assessment with the speed of the oncoming um, vehicle? If they're going fast, then you need to uh, let them go through. But Very if they're going good. slow, you might be able to go through. Perfect. Well done. That's the best way of assessing. So if I'm not going through, I'm going to just park up more on the left? Yeah, just okay. so that there's space for them to come off the okay. bridge. Okay, yeah. Fine. Are you seeing flashes lights? Okay. Good and the speed of the yeah, vehicle. Yeah, I mean, he was well. very slow. I was like, is he letting me go? But I just wanted to make sure. Connect to the train. You're leaving too big of a gap between you and the orange vehicle. That oh, van's okay. going to now try to use that, yeah? So if you don't give that space and you connect to the train, yeah? There's too much of a gap, okay. Fine. Yeah, then there's no gap. Okay. Because you're connected to the train. Okay, fine. Leave a gap, what might happen? The, 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 the car might come through. Yeah, it's giving them an opportunity. Okay, fine. Have two cars ever tried to like fit in like going either direction? Because it is quite wide, but to be on the safe side, you obviously want to just position in the very middle. Good. Yeah, because it's very, very tight. Like cars would have to stop and yeah. squeeze past each other. So, yeah, so that's why the sign's there. Right, we're stopping distance. Can you see a little bit of the tires on no, the vehicle in front? I've gone too close. Good, yeah. So we want to see the tires. As long as we can see those, we're in a good stopping distance for me car in front. Can they give you a fail for that for stopping if it's like how close I was is that too close? Well is it dangerous? Okay you just don't want to risk it basically. Yeah exactly it's a bit risky isn't it? Mm -hmm. the examiners might think you're not going to stop and they'll put the brakes on okay. for you. Okay fine. If the examiners use the controls that's normally a automatic fail. Right, this is a lot of traffic. Yeah, it is. I've never seen it like this. Was there roadworks up there? There wasn't roadworks there. It's not like school traffic. Oh, that's a lot. No. Yeah, there's just a traffic light at the top of the road. It's just because a lot of people are using this road at this time. So we can talk about following distance. We're trying to, usually on a dual carriageway, but can be any road, mm -hmm. is two seconds for dry conditions. Yeah. Do you remember how much for wet conditions? Double. Hmm? Double. Yes, four good. Seconds. Yeah, four yeah. seconds. And then ice and snow, which I don't recommend Ten you times. drive in. Very good. So it's 10 seconds, mm -hmm. which would be five times okay. the original. Right. Um... Some people do fail for this, so that's important. So you know we're going back towards a dual carriageway yeah. where we might look at that U-turn. Uh -huh. Sometimes people follow too closely on that. They oh, don't really? keep a two second, four second rule. Okay. And that's an automatic fail. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how to measure distance in time? to do that so um, how do you know your two seconds from the car in front if you can use uh, like a reference point like a pole and you want to count how long it took you to reach that pole after the first car has passed it very good well done that's totally correct yeah. all right now you know we followed signs earlier mm -hmm. you might be asked to follow signs coming back this way um, we did these roundabouts off camera before we switched cameras on okay. and you told me about the unorthodox ones and yeah. using the right lane that's the way we're heading back okay. yeah towards fine. the dual carriageway the same way we came here fine. and that's following signs to pinner okay fine okay so we're gonna do this unorthodox roundabout roundabout yes again. okay so you know the roundabouts where you have to sit when you have to signal so you signal left on the penultimate and mm -hmm. when you signal right um because you have to move into the right road mm -hmm. there's two of those right uh there's one roundabout where you're turning right is that what you mean no so you know um that one we did where um you're 
signaling so you're signaling left on the penultimate one but when i think because there's a bus lane or a cycle lane you have to move over to, yes. move over to the right but it's quite it's pretty much straight away so how many of those are they there's two of those yeah okay fine are they one after the other correct okay fine that's very helpful for anybody that might still be watching that hasn't fallen asleep <laughs> i always say that right um so yeah there's two of those they're the unorthodox roundabouts so what's quite convenient do you remember there's a new bike lane along the left side which actually makes you use the correct lane yeah be in the right lane yeah no i'm just thinking that like to make sure because if you don't signal right when you're because I feel like it's a bit confusing because normally you're going straight ahead. Yes. You're signaling left on the penultimate exit. Yes. But now when you're entering that new road, you need to signal right, which is like an extra thing to do. Would you get marked down if you don't signal? But you would, right? It's dangerous because you're moving into another road and you're not signaling to tell people behind you that you're moving across. Yeah, do you think it would benefit people to yeah, signal? it would. Good. So you remember where Pinner is? We're going straight ahead, is it? It's turning right. You're allowed to ask your examiner directions. Keep going at screen light. So the only reason why I asked is because we hadn't signaled yet. So okay. that's why I was asking. So the examiner will be thinking the same thing. Okay. Now, whether they ask you if you remembered where you're going or not, it's another story. Have you had that come up on the test where you've forgotten a direction or you're not sure, or you um, feel you know, lost? I have, I, have, I have just asked like, oh, we're turning right or left to yep. right and they've said, yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, there you go. They're there to kind of help you if you need, if you haven't seen the sign or yeah. forgotten. Okay, now we're going up this hip, slight hill. Okay. As we come over to the opposite side of the hill, there's a mini roundabout. Okay. It's not straight away, okay? So we've got some time to have a little chat about this roundabout. It's an unorthodox roundabout, which was what we were talking about earlier. And that means that we need to use the right lane to go straight ahead. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. When we get closer, your examiner on your driving test will tell you this. So I'm gonna tell you the same way that your examiner would. Okay. You'll need to use the right lane to go straight ahead at the roundabout. The examiner tells they you that? Just for this roundabout only. Just for this one, not the other one. Correct. Okay. Use the right lane to go straight ahead. Yeah, okay. very good, yes please. So this is the roundabout coming up. So we start to break, 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 break. Keep the right lane. Lovely mirror Sorry, checks. That's right. fine, yeah. And then we go straight ahead. I would suggest driving on the white circle. Oh, okay. At least a little bit. Nice. Can you see the pavement? Yes. Even though we went on the white circle, which yeah. helped us, yeah. could you still see it was quite close to the pavement? Yeah. So imagine if we tried to go around the circle, we'd yeah. probably go up the pavement. Mm -hmm. See this solid line? Yes. That means no overtaking. Very good, you calm. No, stay where you are. Okay, so Don't go around them. Okay. Imagine if we tried to go around them. We can't see over the hill, we can't see yeah. round the bend. So true. Now, look at the road markings, they've changed. Now I can, but yes. I wouldn't whilst there's cars that I'd wait into this. Good, empty. well done. Okay, now. Okay. Keep a bit more left, please. A bit more left, 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 sorry, left. Sorry. You had a safe distance from the bike, okay. so I wasn't. I was trying to encourage you to keep a bit where you were, because okay, I could see you were going too far into the oncoming traffic. Yeah. Okay, How far do we need to keep from the cyclist when we overtake? About a meter. Very good. That's perfect. Well done. Okay. That's quite hard to charge here sometimes. It is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just do your best. Yeah. Okay. Pinner. There's a lot of names there. Second from the bottom is Pinner. Okay, so we're going right. Correct, well done. Okay, that's right. okay. Mind this white line, you're drifting over the line dividing the lanes, so stay inside the lines. 
good. See how the observations are quite late? Yeah. Because okay. if you'd looked earlier, yes, I know I'm talking okay. to you, so that is a distraction in your defense. Yeah. You might have seen an opportunity. Okay, I'll be quiet now. That's exit one, we're doing exit three. Okay. Very confusing signal. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I, you know, I was thinking, oh, because I'm not actually moving over to the right lane, no. am I? Okay, fine. I was thinking it was that um, coming off that roundabout where you're moving to the right, so I was just. Pin her again. confusing signal because notice which way you're going so what Should direction are you going left. yeah okay. so if you signal right what's everybody else going to think you're doing that I'm going, that I'm staying on the yeah okay. that would be a failure for okay. necess or oh, sorry correct signaling okay, yeah because that's an it's not correct yeah, yeah. Okay. confuse people okay, fine. same again pin up now I want to try to help you on this roundabout okay. with your approaching speed. Okay. Everything else will just work perfectly after. So start to slow down now to about 10 miles an hour. So 17, 16, 15, slower, 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 slower. There you go. Now look early. Look at that. Go. What are you waiting for? <laughs> 70. Yeah. At that speed, you can see it. Make a very good decision. Perfect mirrors, perfect signal. I, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I need to be slowing down much more than I actually have been. Okay, fine. How does it feel? Yeah, it felt much easier to, to do that. Feel the anxiety kind of get a little bit lower? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So you've had a few teachers. Yeah. Obviously, I know what you're going to say to this uh, question, but I'll ask it anyways. Uh, which one's been your best teacher? <laughs> you so far. Oh, what a coincidence. I was thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, but do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make it simple for you. Yeah. Sometimes, you know... I think it's just it, like a little bit of extra direction, to be honest. Um, yeah. Like, I don't... Like, yeah, on those roundabouts, like... Yeah, slowing down. Um, yeah, like, I was just thinking, oh... I'm too slow and the examiner's going to think that it, I'm going too slow too quickly but if you're telling me that's that's the slowness I should be having then that's what I'll start doing and it does help me to see better as mm. well. Yeah. A lot of driving is feeling. Okay. So if you can compare the difference between the feeling of driving towards a roundabout quickly and feeling that pressure to do it quickly and all of that yeah. and then compare it to when you're approaching the roundabout at 10 miles an hour. Yeah. What is the feeling? What's the difference yeah. in the feeling? It's much more like, oh, there's like less, less pressure, like take your time and everything. Mm. Um. Very good with your yellow box. So you've noticed this, we can get to the other side so we can go. Okay. If it's heavy traffic with the yellow box, where do we stop? Um, before it. Very um, good, sorry. well done. Um, so you know those roundabouts where you do have to signal right when you're when you're moving across. We passed one of those, is that correct? Yeah, that was the way we went at the beginning, which was the Stanmore one. Okay. Um, I believe it's on the video, isn't it? Because you you show we'll see that. Um, okay, fine. Can we can we go? Um, is the second one going to come up soon? Can we see that one as well? Which is the second one? I'm not too sure, but there's two of them. Right? again, straight yeah. ahead. Okay, yes. Very good, so. Look at that. Uh uh uh, wrong signal. You keep doing that. It's going to confuse that Range yeah. Rover behind you. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm doing that all of a sudden. Right. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, I mean, I'm intending to stick the left, but I think I'm just doing, going and doing the wrong one. Yeah, just be careful yeah. of that, yeah. Okay, yeah, of course. That would be a major fault. Okay, so you're talking about the second roundabout. What was it? It was the signals again, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I'm just... So, you know those, the roundabouts where when you signal left after the penultimate exit? Mm-hmm. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, you signal left after the penultimate exit and mm -hmm. then you're, mo you ha you're moving right away into the right lane. So that's when you have to signal right. Um, it's those yeah. ones, there's two of those, right? It's because what's happening is the left lane is merging into the right. So yes, that's what you're explaining, I believe. Yeah. If you feel the signal is going to benefit because there's cars behind you, you use it. Okay. Otherwise, just checking your mirrors to the right so that you can see there's no vehicles is good enough. It's okay. safe, you can see. Yeah. Um, that's all that's necessary. You want to add by putting a signal because you think it's really necessary to put that signal because there's a motorbike behind you or something like that, okay. do it. Okay, you don't need it per se. That's what oh, I'm trying okay. to stress. Oh, okay, fine. More important, the mirrors. The mirrors are the most important so you can see so if you it's won't, safe. So you won't get marked down for not signaling? Not again. really, no, because, because you've because checked. Okay, you know fine. it's safe. Okay. Use the right lane. You remember this? This is the Shell petrol station roundabouts. Okay. So the independent driving following signs is finished. Okay. I'm now going to give you directions of following the road ahead. Okay. But before I do that, stop. Look at the car in front. Look at the lines on the road. It's straight and left. It's in the middle, isn't it? This car in front of you and the lines. Yes. See the white lines? Okay, yeah. Look at your circle mirror on your left hand mirror. The big mirror, we've got yeah. the little tiny circle mirrors. Can you see you're on top of the line? Oh, I need to be more in. Yeah, that's going to make the vehicles in the left hand lane have to slow down. Okay, fine. And you would fail. Okay, fine. Lane discipline. Okay. So, yes, we're at the double roundabouts at the Shell petrol station. Okay. Uh, this is where you'll be given verbal direction okay. of following the road ahead at this traffic light. Okay. Shortly after, you'll have too many roundabouts. Okay. Do you remember where we go at the mini roundabouts? Um, straight and left. Good. Now the reason why I asked you to use this lane is because when we came here earlier there was a parked car on the opposite yeah. side, which is very common. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> There's no parked cars on the left okay, anymore. Fine. So yeah, maybe this wasn't the best lane to use, but usually it is. Okay. okay? Um, so knowing that there's no parked cars there now might be a little bit of a hint. Okay. Um, because when we get to the double roundabouts. Going straight and left, so we need to be positioned very left. good. Okay. So normally you would use this lane, go past the parked car, then move into that left lane okay. uh, due to the reason that there is no parked car. All right, I made a mistake. But usually it will serve and be the best method for this part of the test. Okay. And we're almost back at the test center now, okay? okay. We know that. Okay. Then we'll finish recording and we'll do all the other little bits and pieces, okay. yeah? good for keeping your speed going as you change lane or well done and safer good lane discipline excellent timing on the signal for your second roundabout where you're turning left very nice approaching speed good observations well done you were looking so early that time, yeah? Okay. Good, nice distance from the parked car here. Okay, great. It's very intimidating this road when you have a parked vehicle on your left, because then it makes it very sh sort of squashed and less space. Do you remember what we do usually when we get less space? What we do with the um, speed of the vehicle? Drop to speed. Yeah. It's so important that people know that. It's like the number one rule of driving. Okay, you know what, I honestly wish that they would just paint the speed limits on. I should have gone right. Yeah, it's just a low yeah. car, so I okay, just fine. had to slow it a bit okay, extra. Fine. Turning right, please. Okay. 
Yeah, it'd be nice if we had better signage and Yeah, for like the 40s as well. Because um, I really missed that sign earlier. Just before you turn, have a look out the window. Quite close to that curb. Okay. You know your position for turning right? Along the centre line. Yes, well yeah, done. I think because there's so many cars here. Yeah. I should be, I should be closer. Okay. What about if there was a bicycle on your left as you came towards this junction? Oh, yeah, that would be really You'd bad. squish them up. Yeah. yeah. Very good, well done. So, um, what do you think are my, ma my major thing is on the roundabouts, right? I just need to make sure I'm slowing down and then looking early, right? Correct. Is there, is there anything else I've done which I need to Position's be Position's a bit off here, you can see. Have a look I'm here. I'm too pointed. Okay. You want to edge forwards a bit okay, now? Fine. Good. Yeah, as you came in here, it was a bit quick. Okay. Anyone behind you? No, I'm just waiting to see. Good, if your mirror checks, change direction. Turning right, please. Okay. So I came, I came to, to in there? Yeah. Okay, like I was too pointed towards the left. The position wasn't helping the traffic that was trying to get through the middle. It was, okay. you were too close to them. You had more space on the left. Oh, okay, fine. I was trying to not go too close to the car in, in front. That's why I so that it wouldn't be difficult to Very good. Out. You need to do that. That's excellent. So you but, don't get too but, close, yeah? Okay, but I was, I had enough space. So I should have gone a bit closer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we needed to give them a little bit more room because you saw how the van had to stop, didn't it? Okay, fine. All right, watch the parked cars on your left. Okay, it's really quite close wow, to them. Wow, this is really busy. Yeah, so this is the bit with the school. This is right outside the test center. You'll have to edge towards a bit. Now, the parents do really random things, like that lady was just doing a turn in the road on a road that's very busy. Yeah. Stop on the yellow line behind the orange car for me. Just signal left. And just go tuck in behind the orange car. We'll let the vehicles behind us go. That's beautiful. All right, and stop us here. Put a car into park and relax. So, just to highlight this section again now, we're near the test center. If someone books a driving test at this time, they're going to have this situation here. So, I think that's something that you've encountered before, isn't yeah. it? Would you share what happened to you then? So, at my last test in Pina, I was um, had just started the test. I would think I was on this road or another road. It might have been this one, and um, it was a meeting traffic situation where there was jam-packed parked cars on both sides, and um, the car basically we both came forward. We were both facing each other. I think I might have basically rushed when I should have just held held back because I was feeling a bit nervous. We were both facing each other. Um, I was hoping he was going to do something, but he didn't. So I literally reversed a few centimeters, gave the guy space to go. He gave me a thumbs up and I failed my test for that. So I went right back to the test center, basically. Okay. Yeah. And if we book our test outside the school zone, it's less likely for you to have such a horrible situation like this and like the one that you explained. Yeah. So I would suggest people do what you've now done and book your test more towards the afternoon. Yeah. So that's that's better, better mm -hmm. uh, situations and yeah. circumstances. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that situation that you just explained literally just happened to you back there of the milk float. Okay. Same way you explained it, came in a little bit quick. Yeah. Yes, you're stopping in a good position yeah. to allow space from the oncoming yeah. vehicle. This, uh, sorry, this parked car in front yeah. of us, like that. Mm -hmm. um, which gives you more room to move out. Yeah. Gives them more room to kind of move in as well. Yeah. We just had a little bit of extra room on the left. Okay. So we could have used that. Maybe that was a situation on your driving test. Maybe you had a little bit more room on the left. Okay. Instead of you having to reverse, if you had that space on the left and yeah. used it, you wouldn't have had to reverse. Yeah, no, at, at that scenario, I wasn't even in. We were both on the main road. And ah, we were in both the middle. Each other. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay, meeting situation. Yeah. So look at the vehicle speed in front. Slow down. Yeah. Analyze the speed. If you see they're going too quick, like you said earlier, stop. Yeah. If you see they're slowing down, keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions about anything that we've covered at the moment? Um, no, I just want to, yeah, just, just, just run through yeah. 
Okay. Crack the mistakes on. I've made, yeah. But Lovely. yeah, we just do more, more driving. So. Okay, uh, if anyone's enjoyed the video and they're still awake and alive and kicking, leave a thumbs up, please. Yeah. And uh, why not make some comments to help people see this video because it really helps to push it out on YouTube. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.